Greetings from Hollywood. My name is Brian. I'm the manager of the Hollywood Heritage Museum. Welcome to Stories from the Barn. Welcome to Stories from the Barn. In this episode, we are going to highlight on a favorite of museum visitors, and that is this makeup box from Mary Pickford's estate. Hollywood Heritage also has two other makeup boxes in our archives, one that belonged to House Peters and another that belonged to Hobart Bosworth. We appreciate donations like this of any kind for us to display and have in our archives. This makeup box here was donated to us by Michael Peter Ikatis of Silent Society. Like this makeup box, items of Mary's were first made available at the 1981 auction, two years after her passing. This auction even supported a newly formed organization, Hollywood Heritage. This makeup box is a great example of what was used during early stage of cinema. They were often referred to as grease paint or powder boxes. Because this box is such a great example, this exact one was photographed, measured, and replicated for the 1992 movie, Chaplin. Now, you might be wondering what kind of makeup Mary Pickford used during her career. Since early on in her career, she used Leichner, which was an early maker of grease paint sticks in Germany. In 1924, Mary even endorsed Leichner Cosmetics. In fact, this makeup box was manufactured by Leichner of Germany. In Kevin Brownlow's book, The Parade's Gone By, cinematographer Charles Brocher states, I selected her makeup, which she applied herself like their German makeup. There were very few makeup men in those days. I had a special powder mix by Max Factor under my supervision in his hole in the wall shop down in Los Angeles. The makeup was named 7R. It's still being made by the Max Factor organization. Vintage Max Factor brochures do show a powder 7R, which was later called the color Rochelle. It was not uncommon for the actors, directors, and cameramen to do the makeup and the special effects with grease paint. When she married Douglas Fairbanks in 1920, she had a simple little platinum ring that she never removed when acting and needed to find ways to cover it. When she played a young girl in Sparrow, she had a large child trinket-like ring to cover her wedding ring. In movies like Sud, she camouflaged her ring by placing tape over it and then painted it with grease paint. In the Sparrow's clip, you see the large trinket ring, and in the Sud's clip, you look closely at the left finger and you see the camouflage. Not only did Mary endorse Leichner Cosmetics, she also contracted her image for the Pompeian Beauty campaign of yard-long calendar panels. She did this in 1917, 1918, and 1923. Years later, she started her own cosmetic company, Mary Pickford Cosmetics. This around the same time as Constance Bennett had her cosmetic company. They both started around 1938 and only lasted a few years. Mary was hoping the cosmetic line would get her back on the radio as she was a couple years prior with parties at Pickfair. I hope you enjoyed learning about Mary Pickford's makeup box. Until next time, thank you for watching Stories from the Barn.